I just went from an easy fix to uh, potentially a huge mess. Hey, John here again. <laughs> so I guess I'm another edition of New England Rust. Uh, so I just came back from the store and this power steering pump started talking really loud. Let me get a light here. And uh, at first I thought, oh crap, maybe I broke a hose or something. So I get home. Well, actually, I was by a parts store. I, got, I bought some fluid and uh, put it in. By the time I got home, I was already out. The pump was screaming again. So I'm looking at the pump. It's not too bad, just the uh, residual stuff from, you know, overflow, but the lines all look good. So I'm like, oh boy, what else could it be, right? So it comes up to this fella here, which has got something to do with the brakes. Why they did that, I don't know. Uh, it's like, uh, I forgot what they call that valve. I actually replaced that a few years back. It's already rusted. Um, it's like your uh, brake booster, but it's called something else. I don't know, but it ain't that, obviously. It's dry. Everything's dry. But I'm under here looking, got a pan down there, looking in inside the wall here. At first I thought, man, I just did this brake caliber, what, what happened? Something let go, but going in here, <clears throat> it's all crudded up. Well, I can't see, I'm just flying blind in there. So, it's not, uh, it's not the brake. I did find out what it is, and again, rust, rust is not your friend. So... It's leaking pretty good out of there. I'm like, what the heck? Where do these hoses go? And why is it power steering <laughs> way up here, you know? I don't know what I'm looking at, but... So I'm like, what am I going to take this bumper off? Find out what it is. And I find in here... Must be the guy right there. That oil cooler there. Uh, this truck did have a tow pack, so I guess uh, they even cool your... Your... Uh, the oil cooler for your transmission is, I don't know, somewhere, I think, uh, below here. I don't know where the hell it is, but that, which I thought was a transmission cooler, is not. It's a power steering oil cooler. And that's got to be the guy that's rust, or uh, leaking, rather. It does look pretty rusty. So, even if I take this shroud off. Anyways, that's where I'm at. Oh, yeah, you can see down in there. Oh, nice uh, puddle of oil there. Oh, there's a line right there. Look at that. Let me see if I can snake my hand in there. Uh, I got a long tool. I bet you that line is uh, rusted in half. I can't get in there. I'm going to have to take some stuff apart. What a nice location, huh? So that's got to be what's going on there. The, the lines to that cooler must be rusted off. Hey, you know what? I might just bypass that. Who needs a cooler? I do tow, but it's not working now anyways. Yeah, let me uh, let me see if it's easy to get to. I really don't want to take this bumper off or grill or anything. Well, I forgot how easy that grill comes off. I'll show you that in a second, but uh, I can get to my bolt. Uh, there's a bolt there and a bolt there. And the lines aren't broken there, but it does snake to the right here, and I can see oil in there. So I'm hoping uh, taking these lights off, which is extremely easy too, I can get to everything. It's kind of looking that way. This bumper comes off real easy. It's just uh, got these little cam, uh, plastic cam deals. There's only one metal bolt, one 10 millimeter bolt in the center, and then these little uh, <laughs> rusty push pins. I'll have to move them up. But uh, these plastic things, you just spin them to the center, it pops right out pretty easy. And these light, these lights, uh, they come out really easy. Could probably do this one-handed. These the little L clips. Yeah, how simple is that, huh? See if I can lose them. Then this thing just comes right out. I'll put this camera down, but unplug the lamps. Get that blinker out of there, and hopefully I can get to some access. Let me, uh, let me well, put this camera out. Taking the lights out really didn't help expose anything, uh, but it's necessary because I think this next piece, this plastic, uh, this whole bracket has to come out of there, and I believe then I'll be able to see everything, but uh, that lower blinker, that came off, it's just a uh, little push tabs, you know, you squeeze them, pop right out, take a, twist the bulbs out. So everything come apart really easy so far. Uh, so far it's just been a uh, flathead screwdriver, a 10 millimeter wrench, and a uh, 10 millimeter uh, socket, 
Uh, it's coming off pretty easy, but you know, there's always that one goddamn bolt, and it's always in the worst location. So the, those are 25 torque fit, uh, number 25, and the rest of them are just 10 bolts. Everything came off easy. I'm like, what the hell's holding this? Of course, there's one way down here on this long extension, and it's in there in a peculiar spot, and it's that, of course, crusted up one that almost didn't come out. And then, uh, then what when that breaks off, you know, because uh, what I had to do is uh, fit, fit the, the uh, ratchet underneath this, hold it with one hand, you know, give it a little quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, it's a pain in the butt. Because uh, my wrench kept slipping off, I had an offset, that offset uh, 10 millimeter fit on there, it's just I, I, it wouldn't turn it because it was cruddy. I did get the socket in there. So, let me take this off, see what, the, see what kind of access I got. Probably not going to do the trick, of course, but uh, let's see what happens. Uh, anyways, I have to unhook uh, this hood cable. I'm also using the same thing for uh, the wires to those. Uh, what was holding that, there's uh, them little Christmas tree holders holding that kind of skirt that went in there, as well as this, uh, this, this little uh, skirt with the plastic and that Christmas tree holder. You... Uh, Get them uh, undone and looks like I've got full access now, yeah? I mean, uh, the rest, uh, pulling this piece out looks problematic, so I'm leaving this in, but I'll do a work around that. It's just plastic. So that looks like a problem right there. I'm glad it's not, like, hooked to the radio or nothing. So these, uh, I'm expecting these to be real brittle. It's got, yeah, it's really wet under there, so I'll pull some of this stuff back. Hopefully there's a split hose. Or, uh, yeah, I could put some fluid back in there, watch it drip out, but I think I've got it uh, identified. It looks like this, uh, I can't get my hand down there now, but the uh, high pressure one appears to be, uh, in the way, sorry, in the way, appears to be uh, intact, even though it's rusted. Um, but I felt under this uh, return line, and as you can see, it's, I'm picking it apart with my finger. So it had uh, little to no life left. So these hoses, uh, I'm probably going to see if, if this whole unit, because it looks like it comes, hopefully it comes with the hoses, and they plug into, uh, let me take you up top side. It looks like it's going to be fairly easy to get to. Yeah, they just snake under uh, under the battery, and then you're going to be able to see that in there. Looks like just push pins, or I mean uh, squeeze clamps. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm probably looking at the wrong thing. But that, uh, that in the center of the, that, that goes to a uh, steering box. It looks pretty easy to get to. It's a squeeze, one of those squeeze, factory squeeze uh, clamps. And then the other one is uh, a little bit further down there. I don't know if you can see that in there, underneath that boom, right there. And that goes to the power steering pump. Both of them little squeeze guys, it looks like I can get them off, they're probably rusted on there, but I'm not saving the hoses anyway, hopefully the new unit comes with a hose, and then I could snake everything, yeah, look at that hose, that's metal, I definitely don't want to get next to that thing, uh, see if I can uh, get one of these parts relatively cheap, throw it back in, because I'm seriously thinking about just running a hose from there to there, bypassing this whole thing, you know, going right from the steering pump to the uh, to the steering box there, screw that oiler, or the cooler, but if it's cheap enough and it looks easy enough to get to, I'll put it back to factory. Wow, well, I think there's some shit. So there's my problem. I just cut the hoses because I think it's going to be way easier to get in there with a tool and get them clamps off that rusty mess down there. So just by cutting that hose, both hoses are cut. I just went from an easy fix to uh, potentially a huge mess. Uh, see if I can get you a shot there. Look, so going in here to uh, get some clamps in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me, uh, let me try to zoom in there. It's hard to get into some spots with the camera. So that clamp there, right? Just need to squeeze it, get it off, but look. Just cutting that holes. <laughs> this is just gonna break right off. Look at that. 
Nice, huh? There it goes. So, look at that mess. It looks like a fitting. Hopefully, that fitting comes out of there and I don't have to take this. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, right? I still gotta get the other one off. The other one that's cut there. Oh, Rust, man. Look at that crap. Look at that mess. Oop. Out of focus. Well, so, doesn't really matter how much that piece costs. <laughs> Even if you want to bypass it, I've got issues with the steering box. For the life of me, why is there fluid going through that steering box? I mean, when they started doing that, apparently in 2002 or before. Uh, so let me see. I mean, even that was the hose I was worried about, this crusty bastard here, which goes up to uh, your, uh, what, what I want to call a brake booster, whatever that thing is called, which I replaced that, but that's not the hose there, it's on this side. So I can replace that whole hose, probably do both of them, just because, uh, yeah. I don't know where the other one goes. Oh, the other one goes at a pump. I'll probably leave that one. <laughs> I don't want to open another can of worms. I probably will get this one hose. Boy, what a joke. Well, let me uh, see if I can get that, that nipple out of there. Hopefully it's a nipple. It's got to be, right? It's probably rusted on there. Cross my fingers. Let me see All right, that well, is. that rusty uh, nut on that fitting is no longer a size. Uh, so I got this nut or uh, socket jammed down there. I don't even know what size it is. Got a few extensions coming up here, and uh, probably got one whack at this. See, they're going to break, and uh, some tools are going to be flying, or it'll actually break loose. Ah! What a joke! I probably should get uh, probably should get or, uh, some kind of leverage on here. Yeah, here goes nothing. Oh boy. Yeah, that ain't cool. Oh man. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, I can't get any torches in there without burning up everything, so heat's not an option. Um, let me get a longer ratchet. This ain't gonna be cool if that breaks. Well, I don't really have any option. I gotta try to break this free. Put a little pipe on here. I'll have to do Lucy. Boy, this ain't gonna be cool. They're gonna break right off. snapped. It is moving. Well, holy crap. I put a lot of, ton of force on that. I thought for sure that bolt broke off in there clean. I ain't, I don't know for sure yet, but let's see if I can get her out of there. Oh, trying not to contaminate that. Let me get her out here. See what we got here. Alright, well it did come off. This thing's jammed down here. I gotta get it pound it out of there. Uh, yeah, see how rusty it is. So this was a 17 millimeter. I don't know if that's the actual size of that bolt because I did have to force this on there. Uh, I'm so glad that fitting came off of there. So I'm hoping that the new one, because I see a rubber rubber gasket here, the new one comes with uh, all this stuff. The new one of those comes with all this stuff and I just put it back together. So I'm going to clean all this stuff up, oil and everything, and hope for the best and hopefully not touch that other thing because it's probably in the same shape as this as soon as you touch it things well I do have to get that hose off so if you hear me yelling from wherever the hell you're at that's what happened let me get this stuff uh, cleaned up jeez gee whiz you know what this is this tool it's a pipe bender, line bender, whatever you want, tube bender. It's like 50 cents, a buck for this thing. Uh, 
I just got this in the mail from China. <laughs> from China. From wherever. But it's made in China. Made in China. And uh, look at that. It's like it was slammed in a vise and just bent over with a hammer. Ain't that nice? I hope fluid goes through there. It is pretty squash looking. Anyways, there's the cooler. Went in another part of course, but, but eh, at least I could put that in. Alright, so I just put that, just put it back on. Alright, so that, you know, feeds through, obviously, the way it came off. But I gotta tell you, this, uh, this connection down there, where is it? Those, those two hose connections. I mean, it looks like there's some room down there. That one that's uh, vertical. Oh my gosh. It's an 18 millimeter wrench, but to get a wrench in there, it's almost impossible. And the stem is like three inches long, so you can't put it like a socket over it before you put the hose on to tighten it. It was a bear. I mean, I threw about three or four tools, only one of them broke. Uh, my little eighth inch ratchet didn't make it, but uh, I got it tightened up, so I think uh, I'm about to start this thing up, see if anything leaks. I just put some fluid in there, uh, see what happens. If I need to tighten that nipple up, I don't know, I'm going to have to cut a wrench, cut an 18 millimeter wrench, you know, so I can, uh, like a stubby. I don't have a stubby. I don't even know if a stubby will tighten that up, but anyways, that's where I'm at. Uh, before I put all this light mechanism back in there, I just want to uh, go ahead and check all the fittings. And by the way, those those new fittings were loose, so I would tighten them if I was you if you're doing this. Uh, other than that, I did have to cut a little bit of hose off uh, from this uh, uh, vertical one. It was uh, just a hair too long. Only that much it wasn't too bad. But with the extended hose, it kind of like was too much of a bend. I wanted a a nice easy. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there. Nice easy bend around there. So anyways, I got everything hooked up. I'm going to start this puppy up, see if there's any leaks, and I'll put everything back together. Uh, nothing's leaking anyways. So there's no whining. So I think the pump's okay. Uh, because it was whining pretty good, you know, when it ran out of oil. Uh, so there's no leaks. So that's that. Bada boom, bada bang.